Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Southern Dirt. My name is Summer and today I'll be giving you a tour of our spring garden here in Central Florida Zone 9B. If you can see right behind me, that is the new basket weave from Greenstock Vertical Garden. I will be showing you a up close video of that soon. They are all on sale right now. Uh, anything in the basket weave, there's three colors and they're 35% off. You can also stack my coupon code SD10 to save an additional $10 off your order. I'll make sure to drop that affiliate link in the description below. I also want to let you know I've been putting out some gardening devotions and my last one I shared my testimony so I'd love for you to go check those out and we're going to jump right into this video. Happy spring everybody! Spring is definitely here on our property and in our garden. Look at my queen's wreath. It is shooting flowers all over the place here. I absolutely love this entryway when it starts pushing out all these flowers. I actually will be showing you my entryway where I propagated several queen's wreaths so I could have them at our entryway. It's like the dream entryway I've always wanted. Just didn't want to spend the money so I was able to propagate these and I will show you that later in the video. But first I want to show you the newest addition to the garden. This is the new basket weave from Green Stock Vertical Garden. Look at this. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? This is the first vertical garden that I've actually just planted flowers in and I absolutely love it. Look at this. It's so beautiful. It, make, it looks like my video in my garden is coming from a Country Living magazine. The girls and I took about 10 minutes to set this up with filling them with soil and putting the plants in. And then I added my automatic watering system up top so I don't have to worry about ever forgetting to water. If we go away for a week or weekend, our garden's gonna be automatically watered and we don't have to worry about it. I absolutely love this one. And I'm gonna go around and show you the rest of my green stock vertical gardens. So this is the first green stock vertical garden I ever purchased. And we have strawberries at the top here. They're doing great. Oh yeah, this one's ready to pick. Look at that. I love growing strawberries in the green stock vertical garden. That's actually how I found them. I was looking for a uh, vertical garden to grow strawberries in. And a lot of them I found were super expensive. And I came across this one. I love that they were a small family business, American made, and they were affordable. So actually after I ordered one, I loved it so much. I reached out to them and I said, hey, I love your garden so much. I would love to become an affiliate. And thankfully, I passed the test and they allowed me to market their products. So here we have some red romaine that is doing absolutely beautiful. I have some salad bowl lettuce here. And then I have some different kales. Um, on the bottom I have a red Russian kale. I have a curly kale. And I actually just harvested a lot of this kale. Um, I had some trouble with some aphids that were just extremely bad. I actually took the water hose and had to spray them all off and squish all of them in my hands. And then we went ahead and harvested them to eat. And we just kind of did a mixed variety of all these greens. But they are doing great in the green stock vertical garden. I also have some leeks up here. Ooh, look at this one. So juicy. <laughs> I got some more salad back here. I'm actually going to go ahead and harvest a lot of this salad because it looks like it's almost going to go to seed here. I'm going to go on to my next green stock vertical garden. We've got this awesome lavender. Do you see this? This is probably one of my top th favorite things to grow out of the vertical garden is lavender because it just looks so beautiful. It kind of cascades down and flows up. We save um, the lavender for teas and we absolutely love that. I've got peppers. Um, peppers would be probably one of my top things I enjoy growing in the green stock vertical garden. Look at all these flowers. Um, green stock also has support options so if you're going to grow something that is tall like peppers or a tomato, anything that you would want to stake, these just lean 
over and keeps them up. It's so nice. We got, wow, look at all these flowers. They're everywhere. Look at this. I also have some leeks here. And recently I had some fans over and they harvested these carrots and it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you a quick clip now. Wait a second. <laughs> carrots! All right, Eli. <laughs> Look at that. Can you believe that? So are you gonna grow carrots in your green stock? Yeah. Okay. It, look, measure it, look, hold it up. I mean, it's taller than the green stock. Isn't that wild? That's... Like, it go, yeah, it's like taller than the green stock and it was like up in the green Yeah, that's so cool, huh? That's awesome. Oh. We've got red cabbage. I've got some more leeks. And here's a carrot. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest for you guys. Look at that. Just so clean and perfect. Not as big as the other ones the kids had harvested. But we've got all kinds of herbs. I have parsley. You can pretty much grow anything in a green stock vertical garden. Anything you can grow in a conventional garden, you can grow in here. Um, the only thing I wouldn't grow in here is like large tomatoes. I do like a compact variety of tomatoes. Um, but so far, everything I've grown has done wonderful. We also have some eggplants down here that are doing great. I have some different types of peppers down here. I've got some bell peppers. And I've got some flowers down here. These are beautiful. And look at this. This one is ready to go. And this is one of my newer green stock vertical gardens. If you've been following me on Instagram, I've been showing you how it, this has worked for me and how to set it up and the process of it all. So this, I have sweet potatoes on the bottom. Then I have white potatoes, red potatoes, and then green beans. So this has been really fun. I love growing bush beans in the green stock vertical garden. I don't have to get down in the dirt to pick my green beans. I don't have to worry about my green beans getting dirty. It's so nice, and I grew sweet potatoes last season, but I planted them really late. I had a decent harvest in the green stock vertical garden, but I wanted to um, start the season early and on time and plant every pocket, even though they recommend to plant every other pocket, just to kind of test that out. So I'm doing a test garden um, with potatoes. So I'm super excited to see how those do, and you guys will be the first to see all that unfold here soon so that is doing well so here's my other green stock vertical garden and this it, red cabbage is definitely beyond harvesting I'm gonna go ahead and actually harvest this today I've got some onions that are just whoppers in here holy cow Wow I've got some onions that we're gonna harvest and this has been really fun. And I wish I would have harvested it a while ago, but I really wanted to leave it here to show you guys in a video. But it has gone to seed. This is cauliflower. You can still eat it. Just like when broccoli goes to flower, you can still eat it. I have some more cauliflower over here. Look at this, so cute. It's getting so hot right now. And it's been really tough for me to keep the aphids off my plants. Like literally we went away for spring break and come back to plants that are just infested with aphids. So you guys wanna make sure that you are staying on top of spraying your gardens this time of year, all the way through the summer. So you wanna at least spray, there is a beet. Ooh, that's ready to harvest. You wanna at least spray once every seven days. And if it rains a lot, you wanna do it once every five days. So we have some broccoli here that's ready to harvest. We've got some kale. I've been using this in my eggs with some onions in the morning with some more um, red cabbage. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's been really hard to keep the aphids off. Look at that. Oh, those are aphids in there. And, but look what's happening. Ladybugs are coming to the rescue right there. 
sometimes we can't always wait for nature to come in and save the day. So we spray organically in our garden and try to keep up with that when we can. Oh, look at this broccoli. There you go. So cute. Our kids just love eating these raw. So here's our salsa garden and I want to show you guys how cool is that? My bunching onions have gone to seed and look at how beautiful those are. So pretty. I rarely grow bunching onions, but these things are huge. They're like towering over me and you can use the tops in any kind of recipe that needs onions. We also grow just bulbing onions, which are right here, which are getting huge too. We use those tops. Furnish can use them for the same way. We also have cilantro on this tier. Some of it's gone to seed. It's been so hot. It's like an unusual hot spring. So I didn't want to go ahead and trim these back quite yet, but after this video, I will trim them back and we'll use some of this cilantro and maybe um, mix it in with some of our steak sauce. I can't think of it. Oh, chimichurri sauce is great. Um, I also have these tomatoes. These are called Siam tomatoes where they stay small. Look at how many are on here. And um, these have been my favorite to grow in the green stock vertical garden. I would like to know what your favorite tomato variety to grow in the green stock vertical garden is. Um, I'm looking to try something different next year and see how those go. So we got more tomatoes over here. Look at all those. Ooh, look at my peppers. So then on my bottom tiers, I have peppers. Oh, look how pretty those are. And here's one. And I also have hot peppers growing in here. Look how cool these are. And I have so many flowers. Look at that. Wow, look at that. But this has been super fun to grow a little salsa garden. We've got some tomatoes that are red back here. We have some more peppers back here. Wow, I haven't, I haven't looked at these peppers in a while, but they just started busting out of everywhere. All kinds of flowers. And over here is one of my favorite gardens. Look at all the colors in here. This is what I call my patio garden. I have it on wheels. There is options for spinner and wheels, and of course an automatic watering system. So we've got all kinds of different things in here that just looks so nice as we entertain out here in our garden. We have all kinds of different things. We have flowers, we have herbs, we have lavender. Again, lavender, look how pretty it is. Cascading on the side. And oh no, I wanted to show you guys. Thank you for letting me know what variety this was. But now I really wanted to show you the flower but it's pretty shady today, so a lot of the flowers aren't open. But it does flower, and it's really cute little pink flowers. So I've been propagating this. I wanna add more of these into my other green stock vertical gardens. But everything's doing great here. So here is the seven tier green stock vertical garden. This is my first seven tier. I All my other gardens are the five tier because I can pretty much grow anything in those, no matter if they're small or big. So I wanted that opportunity to um, be able to plant anything, but I thought I would go ahead and get one just to kind of show you different things that you can grow in the smaller pockets. So you can pretty much grow anything, any kind of herb or flower or strawberries. It's perfect for strawberries. Um, I thought about doing this entire tower in strawberries, but the only thing with strawberries is they only come out once or twice a year. So I want something that I can kind of interchange and something that's gonna be feeding our family or you know, looking nice throughout the year. So um, I have planted green beans and these are onions. These are actually the onions that I told you I was really disappointed in that were, I planted one bulb and then three bulbs showed up. So someone recommended just separating them. So I did. And I went ahead and cut the tops off and put them in here so it would push the energy down to the roots, not trying to grow tops. So come back for an update and we'll see how these are doing next month. 
but I have more green beans and I've also planted some calamine, some basil. Um, I'm totally going to screw this name up. And this nasturanium. I had a sweet friend that gave me all these really cool seeds and she's been sharing how wonderful these plants are. I also planted a cucumber. That was another seed that she gave me that grows really well in the green stock vertical garden. She actually grows all these. Um, I also got some spinach in here I'm gonna try. I put some more calamine in this one. And let's see, oh. I also planted some radishes in here. Um, I do have different seed packets of lettuce that I'm gonna plug in the rest of the pockets here. So over here, we're gonna go ahead and st start where I typically start my garden tours at the beginning of the garden, but I've been wanting to share my green sock vertical gardens. A lot of people have been asking for inspiration and what's good to grow. So I figured I'd catch my audience with all the things that are growing in my green stock vertical gardens so you guys can all see that first in my videos um, recently i planted some sweet potato in here um, it, the sweet potato looks so pretty just kind of vining out the side and that's what i have planting over here this is actually from last year i've got some sweet potatoes there I need to spray them as well I actually just sprayed a couple days ago and it's been raining a lot so i'm going to I'm going to spray it again. So we have a blanket flower in the middle. Right here I actually have a dahlia that's popping up. Uh, if you guys remember the purple dahlias that I had in my garden that I had planted in this other um, Vago bed, I was able to separate the one of the tubers and then bring them over here. So I'm excited to try to continue to do that to spread them throughout the garden and not have to spend a whole lot of money. Um, over here is Hawani Llama. I think I pronounced that right. My Costa Rican friend gave this plant to me. And uh, I guess it grows wild in Costa Rica. But this is good for inflammation and stomach pain. Um, she actually made me a tea the other day. I've been having some stomach issues. And it did actually help. So um, I've actually been posting more videos about different teas that we're using from the garden and we like to do things holistically around here and we don't really um, look to modern medicine we try to do as many things naturally as we possibly can so I would like to kind of share that journey with you guys so over here I have some Swiss chard this was actually in one of my green stock vertical gardens for probably most of the year last year and I didn't want to give it up because <laughs> these will continue to grow for many years and I'm not a big fan of Swiss chard but I do know if we need something to eat or if we need something to share this is something easy look how beautiful it grows um, so I was actually breaking that garden down to reset it up and didn't want to just throw those away so we also planted recently some echinacea um, that's something else that's good immune builder that we want to start growing. I also planted some more ginger from the ginger we harvested from the same bed um, several months ago. So we got a lot of ginger in our pantry right now, which has been a blessing. I've been making lots of teas with it and um, looking forward to some more. We've got a beautiful kale plant that's been in here for several years. Looking good and some Cuban oregano. Look how beautiful it is. We feed a lot of our oregano because we do grow quite a bit of it. We feed it to our chickens. It helps with, it kind of works like an antibiotic if they're sick. Um, we even take, we make oregano tea whenever we are sick or if we are going to be traveling, we are boosting um, our immune with some oregano. And We've got some parsley in here. And I really need to trim this back. It's kind of taken over the garden. Over here in this Vago garden bed, we've got some onions up front. And as you can see, dang it. See how, okay, so that was one and then all of a sudden three popped up. So my onions probably are not gonna get big this year. And I love growing big onions. It's so satisfying. Um, we'll just have to, find a better source for 
um, bobbing onions. So if anybody knows any, let me know. Mine have been successful in all the years I've been gardening. This is, I believe, my 10th year, and I've never had this happen, and I buy my bulbs the same exact place. Um, I did plant lettuce in here, but I think it was too hot, and I didn't get enough water. I'm not sure. Right now, I just have weeds growing. Um, we're going to try to plug some more lettuce in here, and look at these beautiful collard greens right here. They are doing wonderful. Look how huge they are. I also have some butterfly pea vine here where we save the flowers and we make teas. They are high in antioxidants, just like anything purple would be. My girls have been saving the seeds um, and selling them as a little homeschool project. So if you're interested in seeds, um, all the information is in this description below. And they make their own little seed packets and they pack them and then they mail them. It's really fun. So I've really been trying to stay away from planting much of anything in this garden. Just because this oak tree has been getting so big and it shades it out. Um, so I have a lot of flowers. So we've got different flowers growing in the ground. I do have some onions over here and a couple kale. Um, some old collard greens. <laughs> southern, these are um, southern collard greens. That are just massive. Look at these leaves. Just huge. Um, and our blueberries, guys. I've never had so many blueberries. Look at our bushes. I mean, even our wild blueberries are just insane. So many blooms everywhere. Blueberries everywhere. And our fruit trees are doing awesome. I promise I'm going to put together um, a food forest video because I actually have a lot to show you guys. Um, things are just doing really well. Finally, I got my avocado tree flowering. So I will show you guys that soon. Um, over here for our starts, I've got some cotton that we'll be putting in our garden soon. I also have some butternut squash. We have some um, summer squash, some zucchini. I already planted some uh, mammoth sunflower seeds. We also got smoking tobacco. Um, we are not smokers, but I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys um, if it can grow down here in zone nine. I also have some dill that I'll be putting in some of my green stock vertical garden. We've got some cosmos. Those are really fun. My daughter grew those several years ago. And oh, I've got some tea seeds. I'm going to pronounce that, but I haven't had any success with them popping up. I tried to start them last year. Didn't happen. Um, over here, we got a lot of open space for all those things. I'm curious to know if you've been here this long on my, my channel, what has been the number one thing you have learned from me? I'd love to know that. Or what is something interesting that I helped you with that you didn't know? I'd love to um, hear how many years you've been following my channel and what has been the best thing I taught you so far. Um, I have some kale along here that is finally flourishing and lots of weeds and all these pretty flowers here. Can't remember, I know it starts with an A. I think it's like an Australian or, or a asylum. Is it asylum? I think that's what it is. <laughs> Somebody comment below and help me out. Um, I've got some tomato plants over here. We have a black tomato over here that's been really fun to grow. We've got some flowers mixed in along here. And I don't even know what variety this is. It was just a volunteer that popped up in my garden and I moved it over here. I really need to kind of go through and thin it and trellis it up. Same with this one. It's a, This one is a, um, oh, I do have a tag for this one. This is called a Super Florida Nine. So I picked this up at the nursery and wanted to try that out. And let's see what this one is. Mm, doesn't have a tag. So I think this was a volunteer I grabbed as well. Um, here, this one's kind of looking a little sickly. But these are um, grape tomatoes that my neighbor um, always gifts me and they just produce so much. I really just need to let it vine on the ground, kind of see what it does. Um, here's my onions. I tried to separate some and 
my red onions aren't doing as bad as my other onions were. Ugh, I got a couple that are shooting up triple bulbs, even though I planted one. And we've got some carrots here. We've been harvesting a lot to make some room. And this little gem is a, a new dahlia that my sweet friend brought over to share. She comes down and visits maybe once every couple months and we share seeds and cuttings and plants. And this is so awesome. So I wanted to go ahead and showcase it in the middle of my garden. Look at that. And I hope this one um, shoots some side shoots so I can keep spreading this through. I planted this today. Over here I planted, or my children planted, some um, peas along here. So we planted peas. And then over here we planted some anamame, but not all of them came up. So we just replanted in the space it didn't come up. I always forget to show you guys this. This is my comfrey plant. This is a plant every gardener should have in their garden. It is free fertilizer. And I actually put a video together um, in my short videos, if you want to check that out, on how to make your own fertilizer by using comfrey. Y'all, I can't get over this. How beautiful this is. It just catches your eye. Look how pretty that is. And then over here is my uh, African blue basil. It's one of the best attractors I have in my garden. Look at the bees. They're just everywhere. And I have some sorrel in here. Not a big fan of sorrel, but <laughs> thought I would grow it and plug it in here. Look at that. And guys, look at this. This is an orchid that I got several years ago. Look at how beautiful it is. And I put it into a tree because somebody told me, put them in a tree and they'll do really well. So that's what it did. I just attached it to the tree and then it started attaching itself. And look, every spring it then opens up. How beautiful. I would kill it if it was in a pot. It'd be too much water, not enough water. But look at that. And these are always so much fun. This was one of the first plants I ever owned. Somebody told me the name of it the other day. Someone dropped the name of this lily in the description below or the comment section below. Um, they are absolutely a joy to have and you can actually split the bulbs at the end of the season and plant them somewhere else. So I have done that over the years and just they keep spreading and spreading. Here's our front yard. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. And we put them in pots. We put them all around the property and they are just a joy to see. All right, guys, so now's the time to share my dream entryway with you guys. Look at these. These are the queen's wreaths that I propagated probably a year and a half ago. Um, I put them in water and propagated them. Look at that. So now every time we drive into our property, we have these beautiful flowers. It's such a joy and it's so rewarding to know that I did this for our family and I was able to by taking a little time that spent no money basically by just propagating. Look at these, so pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you have any questions, comment below. That does help my channel grow every time you comment or hit the like button or share it um, I appreciate you guys for watching over so many years and if I can help in any way please let me know we'll see you guys next time